what's up you guys welcome back to the channel so it's still sunday <laughs> and we're in the later part of the day so um i did go to the store earlier that's i told you guys that in the last video but if you guys hadn't checked out the last video go check it out it's basically my current process of unpacking all of the stuff that we have but Anyway, so I did go to the store. I went to the Dollar Tree first and got what I needed and was out of there because the Dollar Tree, you all know, it grabs you. You find yourself walking around and picking up stuff that you really don't need. Um, I did pick up one thing that I didn't need, which was this. But I feel like it'll come in handy because I actually have some scarves that are on a hanger. And so I can utilize that hanger for another piece of a clothing item and use this for any scarves. It's Father's Day, so I got the honey. Um, Olivia got him a card and I got him a card. Got her a nightlight for her room. Got some um, tea candles because I have a wax warmer that I want to light. I only needed one toilet brush. I can use... A rag and a brush for the other bathroom I mean a towel or I can just use this for both bathrooms just carry it from one bathroom to the next so I only got one of those um, I got a knife because the one that I have um, that's sort of like this but a little bit bigger is kind of dull a little bit and I don't have a knife sharpener so I just got this I have another one that I could use but I like this one because it's smaller um, got the honey some toothbrush a toothbrush holder for his toothbrush got a potato peeler a pot holder the pot holders I don't know I generally try to stay away from pot holders and towels at the Dollar Tree well more so the pot holders and the oven mitts um, because they're I, mm, if you're trying to get something out of the oven that's really really hot um, that's been in there cooked on high and you're trying to take it out then I don't know I feel like the heat you can kind of feel the heat through the, the um, glove kind of fast or the pot holder pretty fast um, so I saw this one and uh, this has a rubber back so these this is going to replace the one that I have that I got from the Dollar Tree that actually has a hole in it. And I got a dish drying mat. Now, I saw these at Walmart, but I didn't want to take the trip to Walmart. And since I need one, because I've um, been using a towel to put dishes on when I'm washing dishes. Um, the ones that I don't want to put in the dishwasher, I've been putting them on top of a towel. Now, this is, of course, not the best quality, but it'll work for right now. Um, I've seen and felt better quality dish drying mats at Walmart but like I said I don't want to go to Walmart today and I didn't want to go there just for um, one thing but I am going to be making a trip there soon just not today um, I needed some more hangers some for the rest of my clothes Olivia still has a suitcase that houses all of her coats and jackets so she needs hangers for that got some more Comet and got these I only needed one but um, they come in a pack of three so I just went ahead and got it but I need this for when I am pouring grease back into cooking oil back into the bottle um, if I've only used it once or twice and the oil still clean I just put it back in the bottle to keep from using a whole nother container um, so I needed a spout so that I don't create a mess and then so the other two spouts I'll probably throw them in the, the toolbox over there and I needed a bigger measuring cup because that casserole dish set that I got came with a measuring cup but look how small it is <laughs> yeah so I'm cooking dinner Father's Day dinner so we're gonna have chicken and gravy and I'm gonna put in that pot with rice macaroni and cheese some collard greens I had this in the crock pot um, since last night and I'm boiling water for macaroni and cheese. And then we're going to have some cornbread. Um, I did pick up the last, some last few items at Kroger. I needed to go there for Febreze. So I figured I would finish up and grab what I needed for the cabinets. Well, for the kitchen um, as far as food. And that would pretty much max out my budget, um, grocery budget for the month. So... Um, 
I got two packs of these. It's summertime, so Olivia, when she gets hungry, she's got options. She can eat a sandwich. She can eat some noodles. She's got cans of ravioli. She can eat cereal. However she wants to do that for um, breakfast. She has breakfast food, so um, other options. I did get some pancakes. She wanted some pancakes for one morning and some syrup. So she has options of cereal, oatmeal, Pop-Tart, right now Pop-Tarts, um, until that's gone, and pancakes and syrup. And I mean, of course, it'd be for everybody, but you know, I did get some hair color. <laughs> I couldn't not leave without the hair color. Um, so these are on the Mega 5 by 5 Save 5 for 69 cents. I had a coupon that I clipped a while ago. I'm surprised it was still on there for like uh, 35 cents off of one packet. So since I'm going to be using these today for macaroni and cheese, I figured I'd get the same type of noodles. And since I saved so much, it was either 35 cents or 45 cents. Since I saved a lot on one pack, um, I bought two. And just as another option for a side dish, I got some macaroni and cheese. Got some more rice to fill up my container. Purchased these because I needed a fifth item on the mega event. So these were $2.49. So I got those. And Olivia wanted those. I thought these were part of the mega event, but I found out at the register that they weren't. This is actually a separate deal. So there's a coupon that is $149 uh, for three days only. By the time you see this video, that deal will be over with. But I went ahead and got that. Well, actually, I didn't want to put it back since I already had to go get something else. So the fifth item, since I since this wasn't part of the fifth item, I mean, the buy five, save five, I got that case of water. It was like $1.99 or something like that. Um, got some jelly. Got some brown gravy. That'll be for another day. I got some chicken gravy that's going to go on top of the chicken. Got some Febreze for the clothes that are in the closet that needs a spray down because it kind of smells like storage or outside. And then I bought a bigger bag of cereal because we, <laughs> I was eating on cereal yesterday. Olivia was eating on cereal. We came with cereal. Well, no, we did. I'm lying. The first night we came here, we went to Kroger and I got some cereal. In that box, I realized it's not big enough. Um... It doesn't even fill up the container that I have. So I just got the bigger bag of that. So some Kroger brand Honey Nut Cheerios. And some turkey bacon. So that is it with that. Okay. Father's Day dinner is on its way. It's about 3.40. And I've got the chicken going in the Dutch oven. So the seasonings that I um, put on this was salt, pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder, some parsley. And I did rub it in some olive oil. And I've got some chicken gravy packets that I'm going to mix up in some water and pour it in that and let that simmer. Um, I've got my pan here. I'll take it off the heat. I got my pan here so I can make my cheese sauce. I'm about to make macaroni and cheese budget friendly style. So... When I say budget friendly, I mean basically I'm not putting like multiple types of cheeses in it this time around. Um, so I've got the penne pasta. This is what we already had. So I'm going to use it. I didn't buy any like elbow noodles or anything like that. So we're going to use this and this is already cooked and rinsed off. I've got it draining a little bit over this bowl because I'm actually going to use this bowl to mix it all in. Um, I've got a can of cheddar cheese, a can of evaporated milk, some garlic powder, some onion powder, salt and pepper, and paprika. And then I'm going to use the rest of uh, this milk here. I just bought a gallon the other day. So that's going to be that, and I'm also going to use this pan again. I used it to boil the noodles. I'm about to use it to make the cheese sauce, and that's what I'm going to be cooking my rice in.
the collard greens are done I had these overnight um, cooking with some smoked neck bones um, I seasoned it up let it cook overnight in the crock pot <clears throat> and so now it's all warm and then this is what I'm going to be using as my cornbread and this is the pan that I'm going to be using it in and I need to take out some butter so that I can grease the pan so on the menu chicken with gravy rice macaroni and cheese collard greens and cornbread